Hello and welcome. What happens when you ask the major AI models for a profitable trading strategy? These models are supposed to replace you in no time, so let's find out if they can at least help us to get rich until then. Obviously, take this video with a grain of salt. So I ask ChatGPT, DeepSeek and Grok for a profitable day trading strategy. And I've optimized the prompt so it tells us exactly what to do. So let's go over the prompt, which is as specific as possible. So it is crystal clear what we need. So what I ask is, hi, I need a working day trading strategy on Bitcoin on the intraday time frame, which is academically and institutionally researched. So it is actually working. Prove to me that the strategy is working by backtest coded in Python, so the results are transparent. Be very specific about the parameters, e.g. the interval, so I can copy paste the code into my IDE and not have to do any amendments. So it's crystal clear until now what I need. I want to copy paste a backtest code, which is directly telling me, is this strategy, which is supposed to be working, actually working over the last n days or whatsoever. Then furthermore, do not provide me any guidance on how to uh, do I potentially improve the strategy, but actually show the optimized and working strategy without any improvement possibilities. So the background of this is, if you asked the AI something like that, it will always give you some, you know, general answers like, yeah, this is the base framework, but you could implement this, this, this to improve. I don't want to have it. I want to have the already improved way. So this is why I uh, passed this into the prompt as well. Avoid any common pitfalls in the back test, such as forward looking bias or similar. So that should be the case always, but those AI models, I'm just being very frank to you, are too bad to actually cover for that. So you have to be specific about that so that they are incorporating this. Then the result should show the trades as well as the cumulative PL out of the strategy. So crystal clear still. I want to have the trades which are executed as well as the, as the generated PL. Then don't worry about the input data. I have a data frame with an index, which is a time frame, as well as open, high, low, close volume columns. So I don't want to the, the AI to pull the data. I just pass it as it is. Background of this is the AI is super bad in this. So I just want to make sure the data is actually the proper intraday data here. By the way, I'm pulling that from Binance, which uh, I will also show you in some seconds. So first is the probably most popular AI chat GPT. It's the four model here. So let's see what this is telling us or proposing us. So here's a fully coded optimized intraday Bitcoin trading strategy using a mean reversion approach with Bollinger Bands. Strategy has been tested and validated in academic and institutional research. I wanna actually see that. It operates on a five minute interval, which is common for high frequency intraday trading. Well, that's a bold statement to be honest, but let's take that uh, for face value for now. So to summarize, we have a five minute interval, so we just need five minute uh, Bitcoin intraday data points and then implement the logic. So let's quickly go over it. So mean reversion using BB, long when price closes below the lower Bollinger Band, go short when the price closes above the upper Bollinger Band, exit when price returns to the middle band, 20 period moving average, execute details, interval five minutes, one Bitcoin per trade. Well, that's quite some capital, but anyhow, it's just conceptual. So uh, shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal. Backtesting avoids pitfalls, no forward looking bias, data leakage, realistic execution, that's very nice. Output trade log and cumulative PNL. So exactly what we need. So this is the Python code. I won't go over the code in detail and what it is actually doing. So maybe I'm quickly going over it. But this video is 
simply showing what the AI is providing me without any of my input? That is the question I asked the AI. So I want to copy paste the strategy and then see the trades and the results of the strategy, right? So I just want to click here and post that to my uh, IDE uh, code environment whatsoever. So still still some, some stuff here, but let's actually just pass it here. So you already see, I have a function here pulling Bitcoin intraday data on the five minute interval time frame. So let's quickly take a look at that. So it looks exactly as I told the AI model. So open, high, low, close volume data index is a timestamp 15 minute granular data going, I think, yeah, 100 days back until basically now. So we have 29K rows. So we can just copy paste now the strategy and the requirement is I just want to click the button and see how the strategy performed. Nothing more needed in terms of input. So I have a 10K starting capital, uh, 20 day look back, standard deviation multiplier of two and my interval was defined in written terms. So let's execute and have the results of the strategy. No module named ACE tools here. Yeah. This is something I don't need for now. So let's see what we are getting here. Bitcoin intraday Bollinger Band strategy, cumulative PNI. Well, that's well, that's a very interesting result. So <laughs> this is telling me I either made what is that, uh, ten million out of uh, ten grand, or I lost one point or, or seventeen million out of that. So. 17 million plus or 70 million minus sounds very reasonable just kidding by the way so let's find out what is actually going going on here yeah so pnl is uh, 20 million positive or 20 million negative so in a nutshell, this is just providing me some random stuff which doesn't make sense at all. You could now pass it back to the AI and ask, hey, this totally doesn't make sense. But we want to compare the uh, the AIs versus each other. So this is the result out of a back test, which is supposed to be profitable. And we can summarize, we just get random stuff which doesn't make sense at all. So next one, deep seek the new hope, the one which works without the Nvidia chips. So exactly the same uh, prompt here, right? So I, I um, just pasted the exact same prompt to every AI to make it fair here, right? So we have Below is a Python implementation of a well-researched intraday Bitcoin trading, day trading strategy based on a simple moving average cross of a system. That's a very bold statement for my requirements. Strategy is widely studied in academic and institutional contexts and is straightforward to implement. Well, this was not my requirement to be straightforward to implement. I wanted to have a working intraday trading strategy backed by academic and institutional research, not straightforward to implement. I don't care about that. I care about that it's working. So strategy uses two moving averages, fast and a slow one to generate buy and sell signals, back to avoid common pitfalls, like forward looking buys and uses only the data available at the time of the trade. Strategy parameters, so we have five minute candles again, a fast moving average, slow moving average, position sizing, just, uh, um, 100% available capital per trade. So you just invest everything you have, perfectly fine. Buy at the open of the next candle after the signal is generated. So we have a nice trade execution avoiding forward looking buys. So again, I just wanna copy paste the code. Well, this is, this is a very few code, but to be fair, it uses vectorization, which is super nice. So what is vectorization? You avoid all the uh, loops to go over the the whole trading logic as opposed to chat gpt where it's just looping over stuff so looping over the data frame and then checks every single row for the conditions being true but deep seek is actually 
just applying vectorize operations. So it's checking uh, conditional arrays and it's actually just doing what a good or a properly designed backtest is supposed to do. That is a vectorized and performance optimized backtest, which is super easy to read. So I really like the code here, but uh, to be already saying without knowing it, but this can never work. It's just it's just a too simple trading strategy. It's nice to showcase a trading strategy. It's very nice to make the concepts clear, but this cannot work. And this is bad because this is not what I asked for, right? So again, code is good, but uh, the concept is uh, a catastrophe. So five minute candles, deep seek, we already have five minute data here again. So open high, look close again. So we just copy paste as power requirement. So this one we don't need. And then let's execute. Getting a ton of errors here. You, so you can just pass that back to the uh, AI and say, fix that basically. Sh so shouldn't be a big deal for now. So what do we have here? So this looks quite messy from my output. I need to figure out what that actually means, which is already bad because I clearly asked, I want to have trades and a PNL. So what is this supposed to mean? Did I lose? Did I win? I assume this is a, this is a return, but this is hard to tell from for now. So I will quickly do that uh, analysis. Um, but this is already bad because I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I have to do a uh, research here. Okay, so it appears to be, let's plot that, it appears to be a return PL, so a return per trade and then it's accumulating the, the returns. But overall, you see this strategy is basically flat. Then is, is that even taking some trading fees into account? No, it doesn't, doesn't take trading fees into account, doesn't generate any interesting trades, so overall, very, very disappointing a results here. But to be fair, the code is uh, lucid. is nice to nice to see. So some some explanations. Blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, it also says no transaction cost or slippage. Perfectly fine. I didn't ask for it explicitly, but I uh, also asked for optimizing and. It clearly didn't do what I was asking it, it for. It just provided me a conceptual framework for a backtest. So it failed in my prompt to summarize. Next one, Grog, the Twitter or X one. So what do we have? I need a working. So again, the exact same prompt. And then it says, I'll provide you with a well-researched institutional grade interrate Bitcoin trading strategy based on the academically validated momentum reverse strategy. Just if you allow me this comment, it, it is nice to see how convincingly they um, state their findings, right? So you really, you really would think, hey, this is, this is awesome if you, if you did that, but, uh, all of these AI models are basically lying to your face by design, which exploits short term momentum and mean reversion effects commonly observed in cryptocurrency markets. So it uses a 15 minute time frame as it balances noise reduction and trade frequency. It totally makes sense. It has been studied in papers like Intraday Momentum and Cryptocurrency Markets EJ, Journal for Financial Markets 2020. So that is pretty nice that you have a credible source which is cited here so i might be too harsh on this statement and this is actually uh, providing us a very uh, juicy trading strategy so the strategy is optimized to avoid common pitfalls like forward looking bias by only using past data for decisions so sounds awesome St strategy description 15 minute intervals entry rule by when the five period momentum is positive and exceeds a threshold of 0 0.5 of the prior close indicating short term momentum sell short when momentum is negative and exceeds minus 0 0.5 close position after a few periods or 1% profit profit loss target is hit capturing mean reversion 
Then again, one Bitcoin per trade. No overlaps, only one trade. So sounds very interesting. So out of those three strategies, to be honest, this sounds the most reasonable here. So Python code with backtests. So pretty nice. You have all the parameters defined here. You could play around changing those parameters. We don't want to do that because we explicitly asked for an already optimized trading strategies. So a lot of code here, but if that is working, we don't care. So let's go here. So here we have to change now. We are working on the 15 minute time interval. So let's pull that and already copy paste the trading strategy. So we have the interval data again. You see 15 minute granular now. So let's see what the grog model is providing us. So we have already a very nice uh, output here. So you have a trade log with PNLs, you have a cumulative PNL, and you have detailed backtest results here. So we got a cumulative PNL of <laughs> what's that? 300 freaking K. So if you pull the PNL chart somewhere above here, the F cumulative PNL, and plot that, would look like this. So there are two possibilities. I urgently have to go and you will never hear something from me again, or this is total BS, to put it quite frankly, right? So without having looked into that in detail, I can tell you this is clearly too good to be true. If it isn't, I will officially apologize to Grok, to Elon Musk himself, but this can't be correct. So let me know if I should look into that in detail, if you're interested in that. To summarize, so we ask ChatGPT, DeepSeek and Grok for profitable trading strategies academically and institutionally backed. The output, even though the prompt was engineered, very, very detailed, the output was meaningless. It was not of any quality. And we got at least confusing, if not totally wrong results. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was interesting and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. Cheers. Bye bye.